As news of Princess Catherine's cancer diagnosis sunk in, Britons expressed their admiration for the much-loved member of the royal family. They're going through something so private and, and hard and the, you know, the public eye on it, it was really tough. We've kind of known something was coming, but not to the extent that it has. She's so young and to have such a news that you are diagnosed with cancer, that must be a real shock to the family. After months of rumours and conspiracy, 42-year-old Kate Middleton revealed her life-changing news to the world in a rare video message. This, of course, came as a huge shock. And William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. The papers and tabloids who'd helped feed the speculation, changing their tone to one of concern. Princess Catherine's last public appearance was at a church service in Sandringham on Christmas Day. Three weeks later, she was undergoing major abdominal surgery. We now know post-operative tests found the cancer. But in the weeks after the surgery, the rumour mill went into overdrive. This edited Mother's Day image fed the information vacuum. Then there was the sudden change of plans in late February when Prince William pulled out of his godfather's memorial service. It was around this time Princess Catherine received her diagnosis. Kensington Palace is hoping the pundits and the papers respect Princess Catherine's wishes to recover in private. But with the intense public interest in the nation's future Queen, the questions are likely to continue. The Queen and the, uh, Prince Philip didn't give a running commentary about their health. Um, and so it's very unusual for both the King and the Princess of Wales to very bravely, I think, announce that they've got cancer. Um, Obviously, they would hope the speculation ends. Like King Charles, the princess won't detail the type of cancer she has, nor her treatment plan. She's receiving preventative chemotherapy, which is given after an operation to reduce the chance of cancer returning or spreading. Anyone going through cancer, working life and routine can be affected. And I'm sure that as she gets through the treatment, she will come back to full royal duties, as, as will the, the king. Yes. Yes. There's no timeline set for her return to public duties. That's in the hands of her medical team. With two senior working royals both receiving treatment for cancer, it's an unprecedented moment in British history. Catherine Dis, ABC News. London.